Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jeannie Magic Hair, bringing you guys another makeup tutorial. And this time, I'll be showing you guys how I apply red lipstick without any bold red lines around your lip, or also without you looking like a clown. So, if you want to know how to do that, please stay tuned and continue to watch this video. Okay, so first guys, I'm going to be attacking these brows that I haven't done in three weeks. So, what I'm going to be doing first is outlining the shape of my eyebrows using this eyebrow pencil in the shade Dark Brown. And then after I outline them, we're going to fill them in. After I'm done filling in my eyebrows, I'm going to take concealer and just clean up the areas that look messy and just make the eyebrows look neater on a whole. When concealing your eyebrows, number one rule, take your time. Don't rush it or else it's going to be looking crookedy and raggedy and can't explain it, but just not bomb. Don't rush the process. Take your time and go slow. If you have to go over it more than once, you do it over. Just make sure that line is straight. After applying your concealer, you're going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and blend out any areas that you apply your concealer on so that it doesn't look so different when you apply your foundation.
now what I'm applying on my eyelid is just a lighter shade of concealer um, because I'm not going to be doing eyeshadow. I'll just be applying the concealer and then setting it with some setting powder. What better to go with a poppin' red lip than just a plain and simple look? What I'm doing now is um, trying to get my eyeliner to cooperate. Okay, there it goes. Um, what I'm doing is creating my eyeliner and I'm not doing a too long one. It's just going to be a medium to long size eyeliner. Now what you're going to do is just draw one line going up and then you connect it and then fill in the blank parts that don't have any eyeliner on it. So basically it's as simple as one, two, three. But then your first time will never be so perfect because I know your hands be shaking and everything. How to get over that? Practice. Just practice, practice, and more practice. Now on to primer. Um, I love a matte face. So I'm going to be using this mattifying primer by e.l.f. Um, you know they have, when you go into Walmart or Target and you see those green, pink, and then there's a clear one there. I'm using the clear e.l.f. mattifying primer. So yeah, I'm just blending that everywhere onto my skin where I'll be applying my foundation. Now I'm going to be taking a few pumps of this foundation from CoverGirl. Um, I'm going to be listing everything down below because I can't remember name for name and number for number of every product. But I'm just applying this onto my skin and then I'm going to blend it out using a stipling brush from... Where's this brush from? Not sure. will be listed down below. We'll be using this brush and just tapping it into my skin so it can have that flawless blend. Oh my gosh, my skin looks so monotone with just foundation. But thank God, thank God guys, we're going to be highlighting now. So I'm going to be taking this CoverGirl concealer. The shade will be listed down below and applying it to the highlight spots underneath my eye, my forehead, underneath the nose, my chin, and also my nose bridge.
So before blending this out, I'm going to spray some setting spray on my face and let the concealer sit on it before I blend it out. Now that everything is well blended, I'm going to go over it using my brush that I blended the foundation with and just making sure that there are no harsh lines and just making sure that everything is well put together. So now I'm going to take that brown shade and just warm up my face like put it on the areas where I'm going to be contouring but it's not actually my contour shade so yeah Now I'm going to be taking the setting powder and just pressing it into the areas where I highlighted my face. Now out of that same palette, I'm going to take the darkest, deepest shade and just apply it to where you contour on your cheeks and a little bit down to bring it down on my neck so that it can blend better with my skin. Um, after I apply that, I'm just going to be blending it out, blending it out and taking it up to my forehead as I blend because you don't want to make your forehead too dark and then it just looks weird on a whole. After we contour, y'all know we can't forget to snatch the face with some loose powder. Like, look at that. Snatched, baby girl. Snatched. So I applied my lashes off camera. They were giving me a hard time. And now I'm setting my face with some setting spray from Maybelline before I apply my highlighter. Well, 
when applying highlight once again a uh, important tip you want to smile so you can get that highest point on your cheekbone and that just gets your face popping guys so today in my video I'm gonna be showing you guys how um, I use red lipstick and make it look good because some red lipsticks make you look like a clown and some people just know how to put it on so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I apply red lipstick on my big full lips so what I'm gonna be doing first is What I'm going to be doing first is lining off my lips using this liner, lip liner. And you want to you want to ensure that the product is darker than the red lip shade that you have. Okay, so there I have my lips line already. And what I'm gonna be using is the Perfect Tone Matte Lip Cream by Black Radiance. And it's a red shade. It doesn't have a name. Not that I know of, but this. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it onto my lips. Anyway. Just don't go over the borderline that you created with the lip liner. And with the red lipstick lip brush, the applicator, you're going to take that and try to blend it in with the lip liner that you used. And uh, yeah, that is how I apply lipstick, red lipstick, the one that all black girls are afraid of, most red, black girls, red lipstick onto my big, bodacious, full, beautiful lips. Thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel and I hope you guys like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel so you can get the latest makeup beauty tips also so you can get hair tips also honey just subscribe on a whole period magical dolls because we lit over here